You people talk about Tony Bo as a Lagos governor, but you forget that he was very healthy then about it. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot JFC news update. Please click on the notification bell. Nigerian journalist and a rise to TV analyst Dr. Ruben Abati stated while speaking at the Rise television morning show that people always talk about the all progressive Congress presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tunambu as a legal state governor. But they forget that he was very young then, unlike now, he has changed. Somebody is now beginning to say what I have been saying. Perhaps people will listen. You listen in detail. You keep referring to when Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunambu was governor of Lagos, but you forget that he was a much younger man then, and he was so healthy that nobody risked questions. So he keeps saying he did it in Lagos and he did it in Nigeria. But the circumstances are slightly different, he said. He made a statement while talking to Mr. George Agbakahi, the Southeast leader of the Tenable Support Organization, and Senator Adesha Ye, the All Progressive Congress Chief Chain and Nigeria's former Minister of Works. The two notable personalities bragged about the success of Tenable as a former Lagos State Governor, who accomplished and helped grow help the state grow financially and economically. But Ruben Abati told them that Tenable was much younger and healthier then than now when he's running for the office of the president. Dear Stim readers, kindly share your thoughts about this. Thank you, Dr. Ruben. But where I don't agree with you, you said there's a slightly different. There's a slight difference. There is no slight. The Tenable of then and the Tenable of now, there is nothing slight about it though. To be very sincere with you, I've said it before, the fact that he came out and he was the governor then, if this was the period, as in after he ruled Lagos State, he now came out. Eh? He was now able to break through and, you know, his party was able to bring him out and, you know, he was able to come out and run for presidency. Believe you me, a lot of people would have voted for him. In fact, let me not even go too far. You see this administration that we have now. Had he been Tinubu was the person who was seated there. As in, had he been he run for presidency then. And he emerged the presidential candidate. I'm sure people would have given him their support. A lot of people who are saying Tinubu is old, they're not saying he's old because, I don't know for them more, but me, I'm not saying he's old because I don't want him to be the president. I'm saying this man is old and it is fact. It is not something of fiction. It's not something of let us go and check. It can be seen that age has taken the toll on him. So you cannot say age has not taken the toll on him. Age has. Look, don't get me wrong. Whenever people say, oh, Tirimbo is aged, he's not healthy. A lot of people take offense and, you know, like, eh, want to get old. It is not a matter of want to get old. It is not a matter to get emotional of over. This is factual. As in 100% factual. He's old, he's aged. Which of you that comes out and say, eh, he can do it. He did it in Lagos. Which of you would allow someone who is actually a, an aged man uh, let's say you own a company. The company of your youth, why all that you are patting and bowling and doing things with your life, you were building your business as a young person. And after building your business and got it up to the level, you know, age two has taken a toll on you. And you feel, oh, more. it is time for me to go and have the kind of life that I want for myself. I want to be less, you know, physical. Let me reduce my physical appearance in the office. So I really need to hand over to someone who is going to take over? Which of you would allow someone who is that aged, just because he was very good during his time when he was young, to come and take over your company? Which of them? You will not try. You will not even try it. This one is not a matter of, eh, she be, mm -mm. you will not even dare. In fact, you will even pick a younger person. And I've even given us this scenario before. This one I'm about to say. Between someone who is a fresh out of NYSC, you have someone who just finished his national school, I mean, national youth service, and you have somebody in an office who even have 10 years. Let's say he has been in an organization for 10, 15 years. Now, let me tell you, 
do you know that it is possible that that particular person in office that have 10, 15 years, normally people feel, oh, he has experience, you know, he should be the best. Um, that person that came in as a fresh owl with, with little or no experience, eh? wanting to work. This is for those that always say, eh, he has the experience, he has the, this, with little or nothing to work. He does not have any experience. But he comes in with the vision of he wants to bring value into the organization. He wants to be seen. He wants to be heard. He wants his presence in that organization to be felt in the shortest time possible. Do you know that if that fresh out of um, where they put in the work eh, gives it all, there is a possibility that even that somebody, that person that has been there for 15 years, 10 years, eh, that particular person that is there, before you know it, that person that came in that was a freshman, that person that came in that was a freshman, there's a possibility, see, then go promote that fresher and that young person. The promoter, before you know, they even make up the other department of that, where that's NYS, I mean, where that's um, old staff day. That is just it. What I'm trying to say is, you don't hand over. You don't hand over to someone who, your, your company to someone who is that aged. And for those who are screaming, eh, you know, he's the only one that have the experience, my dear. Many, many, many a times, even in now, you see people who with little or no experience, just with their willingness to learn, their openness to learn, and their ability to make sure to keep to keep focused and keep being consistent. You know, they're going to be able to you know break boundaries. So it's not really a thing of you know all those time where they'll tell you five years experience. Then uh, somebody with their experience can always outdo some of the experience. That is where I'm coming from. For those who always come out and tell us the super story of, eh, you know, we need somebody who is experienced like him. Okay. Dr. Barty, you're being reasonable for the first time since I've been following you. Really, that is my fear for the man. Not because of what other reasons the opposition parties have been telling us about them. Exactly. I really have the opinion that if Jimbo was his younger self, uh-uh, what are you saying? A lot of people vote for him. In fact, people who are not going to want to vote for him will be very few. All right. Um, some people are just being too hypocritical. The older, the better. Will you say an associate lecturer is better than a professor? Have they gone through different meals which empower them for different words? This man says he can do it while trying to play him down. If you don't give someone the opportunity, how will you access him? We are just a funny country. How old is Atiku? How old is Trump? How old is Biden? Oga, I don't agree with you. In fact, I totally disagree with you. There is nothing like the older, the better here. No be one to talk about too. You're talking about human being that I'm sorry to use the word depreciates. We do. Okay, on this note, we have come to.